Hi Scorpios, welcome to I Enigma Scorpio channel. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your general reading for the next few days in the month of November. We will see the current energies around and how does this person feel for you? What's going to happen next? Upcoming events, health care guidance in a nutshell. Please note that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. So take what resonates and leave what does not. If you want to get a personal reading consultation with me or why prayer based spells done from me, please reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. If you want to buy premium charged, high quality, best grade crystals with charged frequencies uh, based on what you want to manifest, then also you can reach out to me on the details provided below in the description box and you can check out my Instagram. Follow me there to check out the regular reels regarding my crystal updates and feedbacks and other offers. I have my main channel that is I Enigma where I have today done Scorpio read. So you can check it out after this reading as an extended. I provided the link below. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign, Mercury signs in Scorpio, cross watchers. I see the messages for you. Scorpio, what are the messages for you? Five of Swords. The first message that I'm getting for you, Scorpio, is to not to lie because you will be caught. If you try to lie, you will be caught. And then we're having this Knight of Swords. I'm seeing you going uh, notch up in your career. I'm seeing you becoming more and more successful. I'm seeing you more focused and you're more vocal about your thoughts and action oriented. And there will be a lot of people trying to stop you from reaching your goal point. But you have to keep moving forward and stay honest in your approach. Then you're having... Wow. Ten of Wands. There are some difficulties. There are some road blockages around you. Every time you think you're going to move forward in life, there's something that blocks you. That maybe your own mental struggle, your own psychological pain that you're not able to come out of that is causing you issues that causing you blockages it could be that but there's some sort of a physical tiredness you might be going through a burnout and the burnout comes from mental stress anxiety overthinking and why does this person why did this person do this to me why did it happen to me you know you're going in in that past zone every now and then this is affecting your health Okay, so somewhere I feel like you need to build strong boundaries around yourself so that you can feel good. You can feel more relaxed. You have to be able to know what are those thoughts that I need to filter, which is not going to provide me any good in the near future. And then we're having this uh, beautiful lover's card. You can see this. This is a lover's card. Now, the lover's card is a clarifier that you guys are definitely tired of dating but not finding the right person for yourself you, this is stressing you a lot this is stressing you a lot and uh, you're tired of like looking around dating and you know but you're just not able to figure out what should you do in this situation because you really want something serious really want something um you know real you want magic you want you want love which is not happening somewhere i feel the eight of pentacles the message for you over here is to clearly scorpio not give up keep making efforts uh, if the moment you give up because everybody is going through this it's not just scorpios it is everyone's story everybody when you when you are strong when you're fixated on something when you go after it no matter how many times you fail you get that universe conspires so in this case also universe is saying to stop being that victim mentality or taking sympathy just have that kind of confidence that you're going to achieve what you're looking for especially when it comes to your love relationships i'm seeing with efforts you're going to find each and everything in the person that you're looking for but keep making efforts and keep and don't lose hope okay but you have to be in this energy of not opening up too quickly 
to the point that you're falling in love and then you're falling out and then you're falling in love and then you're hurting yourself. So I'm seeing a Gemini might be interested in you that ends up into a big no and then comes an Aries. I feel like uh, this is an emperor. I feel like there's someone that you're going to end up with is a highly respected and authoritative, maybe older person than you or wiser person than you. They speak and th think and talk more than your age. And this person is someone that is highly passionate about their own, you know, uh, people, especially you. They will be highly passionate about the person who you are. They will be highly curious about you, everything about you. They would love to know about you. So this is someone that will be like a father figure that will be extremely possessive towards you, that will want you, that will go after you like crazy. And this might overwhelm you a bit because you're like, you're not being so used to getting that kind of attention and there's the sun card which is a confirmation that a major new beginning someone highly competitive in their life and has been highly successful in their life is coming towards you but listen to me carefully if you are a male watching this a masculine watching this you're gonna be a very strong powerful masculine personality with a lot of power with a lot of confidence and you're going to reach the highest of the highest uh, career point. Your position will be the best. So the beginnings have uh, started. The new beginning has taken place. And you're ready to achieve the uh, major blessings of your life. And I feel like whoever is a masculine over here, maybe your person is a masculine that is coming towards you. Oh my gosh. They're so successful and they're highly authoritative. They live like a king. And if you're a man watching this, you're going to be that. Okay. You're going to be this person. You're going to live like a king. And we're having eight of wands. Your person is heavily attracted towards you. Your person is obsessed with you. Your person just loves you for who you are. There's such a strong passion. This person is coming with a burning desire towards you. There's a heat. There's desire. There's passion. There's want. There's need. There's love. So this person is coming towards you with this intention of wanting to have you, okay, at all means and to give you the kind of life that you crave, the kind of love that you crave. This person will do their best to make you feel good and happy. This person is strongly Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, like they have a strong fire energy and this person is full of energy, passion. When they want something, they go get it. So you're very different. You are more of like, okay, I'm giving up that. But this person, okay, you could be that person if you're a male. But I feel like your person is someone, male or female, doesn't matter. They are more energetic than you. This is something that I have to say. This is true that they will have more passion than you will have for this person. There will be more chemistry. There will be more passion. There will be more heat and desire to have you. And this person will do anything, everything to make sure that you don't leave them. I will be obsessed. As I told you, you're different. You're opposite to this person. You are more of a logical person. You're like, okay, wait, I'm not going to go by your, you know, do do da da. I'm going to think, I'm going to test you. I'm going to check on you. I'm going to keep my heart closed. I'm going to see whether this is going to work out. I'm going to think about the long term future here. I'm going to see whether you are meeting me on the same page, whether our standards meet or whatever it is. You will think a lot. You will take a lot of time. You won't be in uh, quick in ask, uh, saying yes. Okay, let's get into it. But this person will be very quick in uh, taking things forward. And I feel it's this is not someone that is looking for some short-term fun. This is definitely someone that is looking for a long-term relationship, a commitment. But you're not going to fall into this too quickly. You will be smart to take it slow, to take it easy. The four of wands... I feel like you guys are best match when it comes to being together. You guys are perfect couple. The four of wands is 11-11. Write down in the comment section to claim 11-11. I claim my soulmate is here. Write that down with full feeling and like this um, video. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for more such manifestations. But yes, I'm strongly sensing the 11-11 energy is very powerful over here, which means that eventually you're gonna this person is going to pass the test and you're going to say yes to this person you're going to be with this person in a couple manner 
and you guys are going to be united for life there's a beautiful connection here i'm not going to take any more cards of this because i already didn't want to now i'll be seeing your tarot messages okay scorpio aries this could be sagittarius this could be leo okay so judgment it's time that you're going to make a solid decision regarding someone coming into your life for a solid relationship yes this person wants you by hook or by crook again we got this queen of sword we got this knight of wands this person you i was telling you this thing right now there's one thing for sure that there's a new beginning happening write down in the comment section and claim it i'm ready for a new beginning that's it happiest new beginning you're going to be the happiest it doesn't matter whether this is a past person new person we'll talk about it but what i'm seeing is i was telling you this person is full of fire they want you they want you they want you that's it you are more about like wait take it easy let me think let me see how will it uh, move forward you know you're like that so maybe it's going to be like this is a completely new person and then you guys are going to be like taking a time off on time off on uh, off on on off on from each other but in the end of the day you guys will decide to be together because in the end of the day yes the outcome is definitely the sun which means that a new beginning which means true love which means passion which means um desire to be with each other getting married you're gonna take your sweet time i feel like may, you might take six months uh period of dating six months so there will be some on and off from your end because you're not sure and this person is like also a little like uh, uh free will kind of a person they like to have their own time as well so a lot of things and i feel in the end of the day within a year's time i'm seeing you both getting committed you're both getting married you're both getting together forever now there's a confirmation ace of pentacles you are going to say yes to this person eventually you're going to be saying okay i'm ready i feel like they will be waiting for one yes from you for months and after months you're going to be saying yes i'm ready i'm ready to date i'm ready to be with you like put put the, put a ring in my finger everything like that so i'm seeing you guys will get engaged for sure this is a person now let me get to the slightly um um unpleasant point it could be very few of you guys not everyone the past person trying to fix things Tra past person trying to come back with a completely new energy not for all that was that is possible but i feel like this is a new love for most of you okay so again see this is someone that is full of passion this is someone that's flirted with a lot of people when when other people look at them they'll be like oh scorpio why are you dating them this is a player you know this person is a player they would never commit to you in front of other people they could be a player because they're highly attractive and seductive they attract a lot of different people and uh, this person deep inside is more than that they want marriage they want commitment they want the stand of cups and they found you okay they were dating all this while they were flirting around all this while maybe they have been flirting with you in the past never took you seriously but now this person has understood they found the one they could be an aquarius aries sagittarius leo they are so afraid of you walking away some of you this could be the person that you already know you walked away from very few of you but i'm definitely seeing this this person cannot even even in the deepest uh you know um uh, that would be their deepest fear if you walk away that's something that they're scared of so i feel like for most of you this is a new person but for some of you i feel like you walked away and now they're changing yes this is someone that's going to wake up late you know thinking about you you and only you i feel like the connection is going to get stronger and stronger and stronger with time and they will think about you everything they will relate it with you and they will like you will revolve around this person's life everywhere they go you will be on their mind 24/7 okay the message for you from the universe is please don't judge them okay it could be a past person it could be someone that you guys just happen to be friends and that nothing happened but now this person is coming towards you for something serious it could be someone from a different religion it could be someone from a different age group but please open be open to receive this yeah i feel like this is someone in the past that flirted with you that played with you but never came back 
they were playing around with everyone but now they want to get serious they want to get committed and they want a chance in love now this could also mean a completely new person that is changing their ways of you know going around with people and you know being in an on and off and then they've decided to change themselves and come towards you because they had a fear that you will leave them considering what they have been in the past okay so they will be in this fear of losing you and that will make them change and want to you know be fixated on one person for life i feel like there's an energy of like you changing a player you know they're ready to change for you this is your twin flame this could be a specific read guys some parts may not resonate the friendship i feel like you guys will start off as being friends they will be like flirting around and then you will not take it seriously and you will test this person walk away and this person will be like no 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 no, no don't leave me i'm feeling something serious i'm seeing this is this is the one i was looking for you're the one i was looking for i need to commit now and that's, that's the energy that i'm getting here what else okay scorpio okay love and spider fall this person i feel like they will love you to the depth of their heart and nothing can change that nothing can replace that nothing can um you know uh shift this energy their love for you is growing deeper and deeper and deeper with time and you will be shocked you will be amazed this is inspiring right truth transcends illusion i feel like you guys this person was in a illusion that uh you're gonna come after them you're gonna beg them like other people you didn't do that you are highly protected by your spirit guides and this person realized that they have to change themselves to be with you or vice versa that you have been in this illusion that you'll never have one you'll never have one you can never change a person you can never find a person and suddenly you have your twin flame right in front of you the number two and two again this is also another twin flame number after 11 11 and then we're having be at peace your peace is going to define how much you're going to attract someone towards you if you're at peace you will attract everybody towards you if, if you're always your mind is always arguing uh picking up arguments not forgiving people being angry being rude then you will never um attract good things in life especially your lover believe in yourself confidence is the key here for anything that you want in your life stay confident watch your words yes your words are, i feel like scorpio are stingers <laughs> scorpio are stingers right but here i feel it can affect your relationship it can affect it can stop your connection from growing so make sure that your words are respectful and loving as much as you can make it loving and kind it should come from your heart it shouldn't be made up it shouldn't be fake it should come from the bottom of your heart so that's what i'm seeing and don't you know speak too much uh don't blabber too much in this month advice there you go yes you might get sensitive about a lot of things in your life but have patience have be at peace and do things to keep you calm and keep you relaxed and keep you happy and then we're having stay strong in your faith. If you have confidence in yourself, you can win any battle. You can do anything. So confidence is a key, guys. See, be at peace. If you really want to be, you know, because you're in this sensitive energy, you can pick up fights as well. You can say something negative to someone without even wanting to or meaning to. So over here, if you believe in yourself, you have confidence in yourself. Nobody's words, nobody's behavior can affect you so make sure that you're working on your confidence the tiger's eye is a really good stone for your confidence you can get it from me so that's about it guys i hope you've enjoyed this wonderful beautiful sensational read and again if you want to uh, check out my extended read i'll provide you the link below okay one last message i'm gonna pick for my beautiful scorpius Write down in the comment section to claim, I am at peace. I am at peace. Yes, the only problem that you face, uh, you know, arguments and you might say something negative to someone, you might get end up hurting someone or act like a stinger is because you, you get attached to people too soon. 
it's all or nothing for a Scorpio, right? Sometimes when you know that you need to stay detached, you might completely block the other person. So you have to be in this neutral energy, not being too attached, not being too detached. So there is a need for you to change this, this pattern of attachment if you want to stay happy and healthy. And that's about it, Scorpios. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful, beautiful reading. And thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to I Enigma Scorpio channel as well as I Enigma. And bye. Take care.